Good morning everyone, Baz here, or welcome to another video. Um, I'm just pretty much rendering the last video which uh, involved me training in a regular gym with Harry. But today we're going back into the CrossFit gym, we're going to do things properly again. And I'm very much looking forward to getting back in there, it's been a few days now. For the majority of the day, I need to get this stocked up, totally empty apart from some onions. I've got some eggs left, bacon cheese, but other than that... Totally run on empty, so I need to get some meats and vegetables and stuff. And as promised in the last video, which you saw rendering up there, but you've probably already watched, we'll be unboxing this package from Design to Eat Stock Should I go shopping first or should I unbox it first? Shopping first, we'll unbox it when we get back. It's sitting right there, washing's drying. Busy day already. Right now, let's get to the shop. Let's buy. Let's buy the fuel. Let's call it the fuel. But really it's just food. All these bags are here because we now pay for bags in the UK. So I'll just take my own. Something that I've noticed is every time I make one of these vlogs, the weather's actually really good, which makes me think, does it ever actually rain here in the UK? Food for thought, food for thought. That's the shopping finished. £41 spent, but I got a decent amount of food. £41 spent in Aldi is pretty much the same as spending like £60 in any other supermarket, so. That's the shopping done for the next, uh, I'd say at least eight days. I'll show you once I get back and once I've unpacked it all, uh, what I tend to go through and what my, my meals tend to be kind of based around. Making two trips to the car to bring shopping in. Basically means you failed at life, and failed as a man. So then, what do we have? 8 litres of sparkling water. Now, this is just... I put one of these in the fridge and I just drink from it if I fancy something a little bit different to regular water. A couple of ready-to-go stir-fries, a quick microwave of rice, eggs, ham, lean mince, sweet potatoes, a variety of sauces, Extra virgin olive oil, kidney beans, ananas, pineapple, frozen chips, because when I have steak, it has to be with chips. What else do you have it with? Frozen chicken, in case I haven't got a full breast of frosted. The steak I mentioned earlier. One kilogram of chicken breasts. The frying steak, which is perfect for a stir fry. Two packs of blueberries, because I love blueberries. Kiwis, apples, peppers, and finally, some pita breads. So, I'm going to unbox the design to eat. We have a problem. Problem solved. Let's get this box unwrapped. We've got a little box of goodies here, so let's see what we have. The coconut almond button is kind of like um like one of those squeeze packs that you have before the gym, after the gym, whatever. It's something I've never tried, and I'm really looking forward to trying this. This will be pretty good. Another one, this one's the almond butter one, and this one here is the coconut one, so we'll have two different types here. I'm gonna try both of these. A cocoa brownie, I'm really looking forward to this, because the last time I had some food from them, it was a it was a brownie, so, and it was unbelievable. So I'm really looking forward to this one. What's in this? Again, it's date-based. And last time I did mention I didn't like dates, but I ate it and it was amazing. So I'm really, really looking forward to that one. That'll be awesome. A 100 gram bag of mixed nuts. That's awesome. Here's the macros on that for a 50 gram serving. I probably cut the serving size down to maybe 25 grams. Cashew walnuts, Brazil nuts, and almond nuts. Awesome. Really happy. That's excellent. So what you can do... To pick up anything like this, they've got, we've got more as well, so if, you, if you're the kind of person who likes to have cereal in the morning, they do this excellent cereal made of natural ingredients. Everything they make is natural ingredients, there's no added sugar, um, it's kind of like wheat-free, uh, gluten-free, that's the kind of 
market. So jump to their website, which is right here, and use the discount code BYTE10, and you get ten percent off all of their products uh, upon checkout. And yeah, these look awesome. I'm really looking forward to. It. Perfect for snacking. So something that I struggle with is. I have my main meals which tend to be really good, obviously, they kind of hit my macros. When it comes to snacking, it's really easy to go and like get a, like, a packet of crisps or whatever, but if it's something like this available, then that just makes your life a lot easier. So I'm actually heading to meet a friend now who works away, he was, uh, he was here for the moment, and we're going to get a subway then hit the driving range. So if you want to see the driving range cl clips, or should I say, you would have seen the driving range clips, if you'd followed my Snapchat, which is right here, I'm not going to vlog this bit. But in the future, I do a lot of stuff that's not vlogged, which is on Snapchat. So Subway, then Driving Range, both of which were on Snapchat, are about to come up. After that, in the gym itself, getting some work done. It's going to be a good week. Lots of gymnastics movements as per. So let's go. As part of our gymnastics cycle, we'll also try and do something called an iron cross, which performed correctly I'll stick a picture on the screen just now um, what we did here to scale this is we put some bands in and we just worked our way up I started with a purple band I found that okay worked to the black band which I'm performing just now and then I tried the red band which basically gave me no assistance whatsoever um, but then I decided I'm gonna scale it back to the purple band which you'll see later on after establishing the correct position is actually uh, as follows I'm just about to explain it now in a video clip um, so we'll just watch that just now. That's what you want to be really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here's kind of my best attempt. In a purple band, I actually get all the way to the floor, arms straight, and then I return back to the original position. So you really give that a try, it's a hard one, but let's get straight into the wad now, which is described here, 5 to 1, 1 to 5, burpees of the bar, and front squats. <laughs> That wraps up today's workout. It was pretty tough. You even heard me saying that was impossible at the end there, which is the kind of negativity that I don't normally do. Afterwards, I actually managed to kind of start stringing together my first butterfly pull-ups. Before trying this, I do recommend you 
more on your shoulders probably because it's quite uh, quite intense on them. But you've seen them on your screen now. Um, these are kind of the first few that I managed to link together. I'm not going to incorporate into the workout properly yet, but that was just a kind of little extra that after the workout. Now the workout itself, I wish I did go a little bit faster. I rested a little bit too long before my last set. I definitely did not want to break at any point. The key for this one is to not break on those uh, front squats and to try and squat clean that first one as well. Yeah, overall, good workout, 6.40. I'm pretty happy with that. I would have preferred a sub-6 time. Post your time in the comments below. It's quite a good one, somewhere you can do pretty much anywhere. Uh, anywhere that's got a barbell. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna wrap this up. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Do check out the channel. Subscribe, of course, for more videos. I hope you're enjoying these, and have a good night, guys. See you later.